हेलो फ्रेंड्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो इन पावर लर्निंग चैनल सो टुडे आवर कंट्रोलर इज स्मार्ट जेन कंट्रोलर द मॉडल ऑफ दिस कंट्रोलर इज एच जी एम नाइन्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड सीरीज ओके दिस इज जेनसेट कंट्रोलर सो टुडे वी विल सी द वायरिंग कनेक्शन ऑफ एच जी एम स्मार्ट जेन कंट्रोलर दिस इज चाइनीज कंट्रोलर मेड बाय चाइनीज मैनुफैक्चरर सो टुडे वी विल सी हाउ वी विल मेक कनेक्शन ऑफ दिस कंट्रोलर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड so before going to the video i have a small request to all of you kindly like share and subscribe my channel so let's get started so here if you will see on we will start from sequence from number 1 to continue okay so here on number 1 as you see it's writing b dash b dash means b negative means battery negative here we will connect our battery negative supply wire okay directly from the battery and on number 2 as you see it's writing b positive b positive means battery positive supply here you see if you see this is battery symbol okay this is the battery symbol and this battery symbol wire is connected as you see directly through via fuse and it is connected in point number 2 terminal number 2 on the same wire in the parallel connection we will use emergency stop in series we will use normally close emergency stop push button with fuse and it will connect the supply of number 3 okay after that number 4 and 5 these are two digital outputs okay digital outputs Uh, digital outputs mean it will give continuous command okay and the crank crank supply will be come for every 3 seconds for every 5 seconds for 3 times okay so these contact ratings are 16 amps each 16 amps and 16 amps and after that we will this symbol this symbol it's showing external relay we will use external relay Uh, for fuel and crank after that on number 6 7 8 we have auxiliary output these outputs are rated 7 amps each 6 7 8 the same function we can use it as a same in case of any problem with fuel or crank we will use also from here we will program it or we can use another required output needs in our uh, uh, for output needs we will use these outputs okay friends so we have three additional outputs here as a digital so we can use it with external slave relay on number 9 if you see this round and this round it's connecting with charger d positive on number 9 this 9 number cable is connected on our dynamo it's coming from dynamo it is sensing the charging status of our Uh, generator when it is running how much charging it's producing for the battery and for the controller itself okay so after that if you will see number 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 these all are auxiliary inputs auxiliary inputs are digital inputs these digital inputs we will use for example number 1 oil pressure sensor water temperature sensor water low level switch emergency stop okay all these inputs we can connect on on these auxiliary inputs okay after that on 16 17 and 18 on 16 17 18 we will connect our magnetic pickup unit magnetic pickup unit is mpu mpu is installed on engine flywheel and it's counting the teeth of a uh, engine speed while running and during the startup it will give signal to open the fuel fuel from the actuator okay after that we have also one more auxiliary input at number auxiliary input 7 at number 19 okay so these all auxiliary input is configurable you can configure it as per your requirement after that we have auxiliary output 7 amp 250 volt ac 220 uh, sorry 20 21 and 22 these three contacts are volt free contacts from here you will connect your ac volt supply to use for breaker control here we have one common common is 22 okay and 21 is open and 20 is normally close 
so other than this we have 23 24 25 and 26 ecu j199 39 this is can bus cable you have to connect your can bus cable which is coming from ecu will connect on 23 24 and 25 after that we have here if you will see these three terminals this is 33 34 35 okay on 33 34 35 we have rs485 rs485 we are using for communication to communicate for scarda and other bms system so we have to provide this signal to our bms team so they will connect here so if you will see the inner diagram if you will see the inner diagram for this as you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 number 3 is connected directly common positive from the battery okay and 4 and 5 are the outputs from the supply other than this if you see number 2 it's giving positive supply to all the digital outputs 6 7 8 here as you see 6 7 8 here you don't need to connect any supply it's giving output dc output 24 or 12 volt supply to energize your external relay okay friends after that further i will go down now so here we will see now auxiliary output 5 auxiliary output 6 these two outputs are very important these are volt free contacts we will connect here our breaker control okay as you see here 38 is the common 37 is normally open and 36 is normally close these are the three contacts which we use to control our breaker and after that also we have one normally open contact these are volt free contacts okay we can connect here any supply and get the output there is no inbuilt supply here okay normally we will use this contact with ac source supply to control our circuit breaker magnetic contactors all these control after that if you see here mains voltage mains voltage means your supply voltage because this is amf controller so your mains voltage is your transformer supply whenever you are using this controller in a standby application you will connect here your line 1 line 2 line 3 and neutral as a mains voltage for reference voltage for sensing voltage in case mains voltage is fail okay it will give signal generator to start on load after that here we have genset voltage what is mean by genset voltage genset voltage means this controller is installed on which genset this genset vo alternating voltage will be connected here in the sequence of line 1 line 2 line 3 and neutral in this way the controller will sense the genset voltage while running so how much the generation will produce okay so this genset voltage if drops so generator will stop on under voltage frequency after that here we have genset current rated 5 ampere so genset current meanings here the current transformer which we we will install in our low in our load breaker okay on the load cables these current measuring device this current transformer measure the current and give sick give feedback to our controller and controller will show us how much the kilowatt kva and the ampere is available and consuming from the generator so further we have here earth current rated 5 ampere this is earth fault this is for earth current if you have earth ct if you are using earth ct you can connect here 53 and 55 okay and as a out input you will use also auxiliary input at number 55 further we have from 56 to 61 we have all auxiliary sensor auxiliary sensor 1 2 uh, from 56 57 58 59 and 60 61 so the sensor common is 60 okay you will connect the common wire from the body 61 and the further remaining is 60 on 60 you will connect fuel level sensor on 59 you will connect engine temperature sensor and 58 you will connect oil pressure sensor and auxiliary sensor 1 and 2 this will be configurable as per your choice so guys also further we have here ethernet cable you can connect with ethernet cable or with rs485 this usb port 
we are we are using for communicating with controller to control the controller via laptop to program so friends i hope you learned something new today so inshallah we'll see you in the next video till that take care have a nice day assalamu alaikum and don't forget like share and subscribe have a nice day bye bye